Welcome back for another episode of the Corporate Happiness Show. I'm Jacqueline Pertle, your host. You can find me at freakyhealer.com. I work with conscious leaders, businesses, and individuals to create more happiness and to create just a more energetic way to live life. So today we have a guest that is not HR. Think about that. Yet it's so potent what she does and what she knows and uh, for corporate happiness. So Julie, welcome on the show. Hey, thank you so much. It's so nice to be here. I, I'm really excited to uh, chat all about how to become more happy in the corporate life. Yeah, I know, right? And a little bit of a backstory. We go a little bit way back, <laughs> you know? So basically you are the president and the owner and the big, big person creator at Protocol Sports Systems in yeah. San Diego. And we met through our, uh, through my son, our son, there we go, <laughs> through my I son. Like he's mine too. <laughs> yeah, there we go, we share him. And we met through him because he's in San Diego and he's an athlete and he goes to your facility and he's yeah. a complete fan and when I visited a couple weeks ago he said mom you have to have a sports massage you have to have a table treatment and that's what I did and it was just magic what it did for my body and the adjustments and everything so tell us a little bit about what you do and your background so we put the highlight on to you what you're doing yeah, absolutely so yes I um I founded Protocol Sports Systems because I was an athlete and I grew up, a, you know, a volleyball player, softball player. I played volleyball in college. I was heavily recruited and then I ended up playing overseas and playing professional. So throughout that part of my life, you know, as an athlete, we kind of work through things. And now I grew up in like the eighties and nineties. So it was a little different than it is now, but, um, I noticed that, you know, my strength and conditioning coach was my volleyball coach in, in club. And so there wasn't a lot of knowledge around things and people weren't really paying that much attention to the small foundational stuff. So I ended up getting injured in club when I was 14 and having a bulging disc. And when I was in college, I ended up hurting my knee. And so I had a cyst that was taken out and they just kind of operated on it because that's kind of what you did. When I was overseas playing, I hurt my knee again. I came home. They thought it was a meniscal tear, but it turned out to not be. It was just, it was just poor tractioning. But the doctor decided to take out all of my lateral retinaculum, which is kind of what stabilizes the knee. And so, me having this journey of mm, not the greatest of healthcare, you know, yeah. I felt like I really wasn't taken care of, and people weren't really paying attention to me. Actually, ended my playing career but started me on this whole new world of if it's if something's happening to me then it's got to be happening to everyone else and so i really wanted people to feel like they were taken care of and they they could have be the optimal human being that they wanted to and also i was really pushed to feel like if i knew at you know the 20 something what I should have known at 14 about my body and how it works and how we have to set everything up foundationally, man, I could have achieved so much more athletically than I even did. And I was up at the highest, one of the highest levels. And so it kind of started me on this idea of, I really want to put together a place where you can come in and feel like you're a VIP. And you can feel like you're being fully taken care of on every level, that people understand you, they hear you, they help you, they educate you, they empower you, and they work on all different levels. And so as I was going, it took me like 20 years to get this off, off, the, off the ground. When I became a therapist, I noticed that as I was working through different levels, a lot of the different disciplines I worked with, you know, chiropractic, um, doctors, massage, physical therapy, athletic training, uh, acupuncture. At that time, it was very competitive and everybody had this hierarchy that they were playing off of and nobody wanted to work with anybody else. And you should only work with yourself and nobody else. And I was like, but, but we all do different things. Why can't we all specialize and bring all of our specialties together and, and give the client exactly what they need, which is all the best of all of us. 
And so, you know, a few years ago, about seven years ago, I finally, after a few times of trying and, and it just wasn't the right time, I just kind of put it together. I found the right people and I started protocol sports systems because I believe to, in order to truly get better, it should be a systematic protocol to get you from injury to, to the best you that you can be. And so that Absolutely. kind of is what, what I did in order to start it. It was my own issue that, that created it. And I feel like, thank God I am such a committed, committed host that I have injured myself in every way possible <laughs> so that I understand how you guys are feeling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I mean, I want to highlight because it is a corporate happiness. Show, I want to highlight we're talking athletically here and whatnot. Yeah. And that's kind of how we met through um, an athlete too. But in reality, we're talking about the body. We're talking yeah. about everyone's body. So it's pain and injury. So when someone comes to you with pain or injury, would you think that pain and injury has a, you know, has a, a thing, you know, with the happiness, the all over happiness, you know, what does that have in sync? What does that have to do with pain and injury and happiness? Because that's kind of like why we were so excited to talk about this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a great question. So here's something crazy. Do you know that at the end of this year, 2022, there is chronic pain. Chronic pain is something that lasts three months or longer. So if you have acute pain, that's usually where you're like, oh, you hurt yourself. And then you go through that, all that sharp, hurt, hurt, hurt pain. And then as the swelling and the heat and everything subsides, then if you're left with consistent pain, it turns into chronic pain. Chronic pain is actually $7 billion. Uh, it's a $7 billion industry right now, just in people searching for low back pain issue. Chronic pain and productivity loss in the workplace is tr a trillion dollars. It was exactly. $650 million in 2010. So it's over a trillion dollar industry just in how much productivity loss at work. And what they're, they've found in the last 20 years or so is that there's a lot of emotional component to it that they never really yes. thought before. Like this whole new pain theory, it's called your new, uh, the neural matrix pain theory. And what it does is it, it basically shows you that there's a huge somatosensory part of pain that people aren't realizing. That when we get into pain, it, it stays with us. And there's this emotional trigger of fear oh. of getting back out of pain, of fear of redoing the pain, of there's so much that comes with it. And yeah. so in order for us to really move through it we see we see a lot of athletes but we see a lot of people the majority of people that we see in our clinic are people who have been to 10 15 20 different dis disciplines practitioners clinicians from doctors to you name it and nobody's been able to figure it out because yeah. unfortunately it's not a physical thing it, it comes in physical because it's painful but you're not like you didn't break a leg you just have pain and so it's really hard from employers into the workplace. It's, it's hard for employers to figure it out because you don't, you got people that are walking around in pain, but they're not, they don't have casts on. They don't, they didn't have surgery. Yeah. They it's like a little so, silent kind of, yeah. It not is, visible. It's like a silent killer. Right. And so it's like mm -hmm. the, the employers have a hard time having a lot of sympathy for their employees because their employees keep calling out of work because they're in pain, but there's this, it's this huge, you know, vicious, vicious cycle that's going on and so what, what we see is that when people come in and they're in chronic pain they're they're it's a, really chronic pain is all about that uh, attachment to the nervous system and so the nervous system plays a gigantic role in this which is part of your happiness structure right and so yeah it's hard to be happy when you're constantly in pain and yeah. in reality you know you might be meditating you might be stretching you might be eating good you might be moving however that was kind of like my experience when I was you know at your amazing uh, place and got the massage and they straightened my hip and how I stand yeah. And then also like the table um, treatment with Mike was just like, wow, I'm actually 
probably since a long time, I'm actually standing straight and yeah. I love doing acupuncture and I'm all energetic based, you know, it's like, yeah. and I work out and I eat really healthy and all that. However, when I talked with Mike about it, like, you know, you can do all these things and you should do all these things. You should really take excellent care of yourself. However, if the vessel is not straight, if the vessel, and I've noticed that on my own body, you know, I mean, when my, when my, my function of my body is actually correct and then I go to acupuncture, oh my gosh, you know, it's yeah. like, or, and it's much simpler and easier to actually feel good and be happy, you know, because yeah. of, your, the treatment that I received at your place and I wasn't even in pain. Yeah. That's the funny part. I wasn't even in pain. So this in my eyes speaks for people that are injured. It speaks for people that are in pain, but it also speaks for people that are not in pain, like to get these adjustments done and that educational value. I didn't even know all this stuff about my body. Well, <laughs> now yeah, I'm paying it. Now I'm paying attention. How do I stand? And oh, they said this and they said that. And so I just like your wholesome approach right? and it's for athletes, but it's also for me. I'm not an athlete, right? Right. No, it's for, it's really, I, my goal on this planet is to make sure that every person can be the best that they can be. And I feel like we spend so much time in the outer world looking for things to fix us. And we don't even pay attention to what's actually going on on the inside of us because we don't know right and it's like it's that whole idea of subconscious first consciousness so we spend 95 percent of human movement is subconscious based we don't pay attention to what we're doing we're just doing it and so we get ourselves into all these little patterns like we were talking like you're riding your bike or you're sitting funny or you're on the computer or you're on your phone or <laughs> you're doing you know you're doing stuff every day and you don't realize it well the body here's the crazy part about the body the body adapts to the tension that's being placed on it the, the majority of the time so if you're always sitting like this well half of your body is becoming contracted the other half is becoming inhibited because it's it's being overstretched and then the, the joints are just adapting to it so we are making changes in our body without even realizing it and so the crazy thing is is it's like you don't know what you don't know so we're doing things over and over and over again and if we go into like the workplace we're on our computer we're we're on this we're on three computers where we're usually turned <laughs> to a side right because i see that one a yeah, lot yeah. or we're we're doing a thousand different things and our back starts to hurt and then we're just like, well, I, I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to stretch. I'm trying to, but you're, you're trying to stretch in places that you don't realize what you're exactly. stretching. You're just stretching. You're going exactly. on YouTube and you're like low back pain stretches. What do I do? But you don't actually know what it is. So then you go and you're like, oh, I should get a stand up desk. So then you get a stand up desk, but nobody's actually addressed your back pain. And so now you just have back pain when you're standing up and you have back pain when you're sitting. And so you go into doing all the ergonomic stuff. Well, ergonomics is awesome, but if you don't know what your body is actually doing on the inside, <laughs> yeah. then you're just asking for an outside fix and you haven't addressed anything that's going on on the inside. So it's like, we get frustrated. I see a lot of people who are very frustrated because it's not like the majority of humans do not want to be in pain. They don't, we don't no. walk around going like, please let me be in pain every day. Let me, <laughs> let me be in pain when I wake up. Let me be in pain when I sit, let me be, pain is horrible. Maybe when you don't want to go to work, you want right. to say, you know, but even then you don't really mean it, you know? So exactly. yeah. Exactly. Well, and usually a lot of people are like, God, I, I, it's like, it's not, it's not that sharp pain. It's that more like that annoying pain, like kind of squirmy because no matter where you can't get comfortable, no matter what you're doing, you can't sit and it doesn't feel good. You stand and it doesn't feel good. And it just, it starts to take over your life. And so what I found is more people need to understand how their bodies work yes. and what they can actually do. It's actually very simple to get out of chronic pain. Very simple. The majority of it is the understanding of what your body is actually doing. And when exactly. you know, then you can make the small micro correction to change it. But it's Absolutely. just the understanding of it first. And I think the big thing too, is when people get in pain, we, we as a human being automatically go to, oh, I gotta have surgery. Oh, oh no, that's the worst mm -hmm. thing ever because it's that fear of the unknown. 
And so when we don't know, we're so afraid again, the fear of everything, there goes our emotions, emotional component jumping in is this fear of being like, oh God, what's gonna happen to me? And a lot of times it's just the understanding that it doesn't have to be that big of a deal. Like a lot yeah. of times it's postural as you're standing, the body's moving. And so if your pelvis is all of a sudden shifting and moving, then you have to think about what's your back doing? What are your vertebrae doing? What are your hips doing? What are your knees doing? It could be the simplest thing. And then all of a sudden, like you said, you go in and somebody like changes you I and know. explains to you what is going on. And then you're like, oh, it's yeah. Also, okay. like Mike said, like stretch this way. I'm like, really? I always stretched that way. He says, actually, that aggravates it. And yeah. I had no idea. I thought I was doing the right thing. And what I like is when you brought up the emotions like fear, fear really feeds inflammation and a low oh, yeah. immune system and everything. So not just energetically, but also physically, you know, so it's like, so the emotions play a big role. So okay. when you're in pain and then you fear and the pain feeds everything and it just, it's this downward spiral. Whereas if you can say, you know what? I'm going to put a stop to this. I'm going to go yeah. to Julie at protocol systems. And yes, I'm not advertising you, yeah. but I'm speaking for you because I've noticed it on my own body. You guys are just so amazing with it and then educate me. Then you can mm -hmm. take, you know, you can, you can go with your mind. Oh, you know what? I actually have a very good system and it mm -hmm. actually feels good. I take it. I'm taking care of my physical body, you know, yeah. and then you can soothe your emotions, which will help your inflammation go down, right. which will help your immune system, which will give you less, make your pain a little less, you know, and then you feel even better. So it feeds in the right direction. Mm -hmm versus the other direction so how do you how do you teach people so mm -hmm. how, i know we spoke about it a little yeah. bit and you said how the body works so you have like videos and courses so what do you do besides so, besides treatments yeah great question so we have classes that we offer we are we're in the midst of doing online classes we did a lot when during covid and during the pandemic when everything was shut shut down and we really tried to help as many people online. What I found is that a lot of online courses, when you're looking at them, are queuing, they're just queuing basic queuing and then you need to get a little bit more foundational. So we offer a lot of, we offer online courses. Um, we offer live courses where if you're, if you're there and you really need a one-on-one, -on -one, kind of like a telehealth, we'll kind of come through and work with you. I'm also in the midst of getting a podcast ready so that we can actually help people take the mystery and intimidation out of their body. Perfect. Because that's really important to me on all levels, not just from me, but from also understanding what blood hormone panels are, understanding what PR, like all of the um, preventative medicine, not just the curative part, but the, how to prevent actually falling apart. And then we're, I am currently writing curriculum for an online course. So my goal is to be able to take and up level every type of discipline that works with clients out there in this kind of world so that you can actually see the body for what it is and how it works. Um, which is I a beautiful, this... it's a beautiful thing, your body. And it's only scary because you don't know. It's the but not what, knowing. Exactly. But what if you can actually get the understanding of yeah. what your body is, who your body is and how it works, yeah. and then also get a relatively holistic way of helping yourself and your body. I mean, it's a win-win situation. Oh my gosh. 100%. And we have people who come in all the time and their biggest thing is I've been to everybody and nobody's been able to get me. And I said, well, here's the thing. It's the small, intricate, small, little movements and being yes. foundational. That's going to allow big movements to happen. Right? So if we work intrinsic muscles, if we work intrinsic joints and you understand that the body is essentially made up, unless you call organs, the body is made up. The whole kinetic chain is made up of muscles, joints and nerves that's it muscles joints and nerves the nerves if you think of this as like a clock right the nerves are your battery the nerves are what keeps everything powered and going the muscles are the um the hand of the clock right so they they move and then the joints are like the cog 
So if the battery, if you're going through and the battery dies, well, then you have no movement in the clock. So let's say the nerves aren't working. So you gotta, you gotta work the nerve. So then you replace the battery. So now the nerves are working great. Well, now the cog is kind of oiled and not working. So now there's a jam up in there. If there's a jam up in the cog, the hands aren't gonna work. So no, even if you have great battery, the whole hand isn't gonna work. You have to have a consistency of all three. So if you think about the body, the nerves innervate the muscles, the muscles pull on the bones, the bones are attached to the joints because two bones together yeah. create a joint. And so if those are all working together, you have efficiency of movement. But the minute we start doing something a little too much, like we're tightening down on one side more than the other, we start to change how the body actually works. So one muscle gets a little too shortened, let's say your bicep, and then it starts to affect your shoulder joint because it's attached up to the shoulder joint. So now the joint gets affected and has to move. Now that doesn't work. And now the nerves are just irritated. So we can have a change in pain like that if we just understand how the body actually works and we can take things out and create space for our body to move again. Yeah. So it's really just the knowledge of A, it's not as bad as you think it is yeah. for chronic pain. Yeah really isn't and and b you have all of the power in your body the knowledge to change your body yeah it's all in you it is and i think yeah. the thing is is that you have to realize that it, it's actually the biggest thing that i teach and i i love it it, it excites me it's like <laughs> the it's the biggest thing that's more fun for me than anything is teaching someone how to feel their body move that they haven't felt in a long time because if you haven't been using it the body turns it off it'll go where the attention is. Yeah. And so like we do a lot with low back, for example, with people who sit all the time. So those are your corporate people, right? They're sitting on their computers, they're doing stuff. If you're sitting down, A, you're compressing into your spine, which isn't really meant for compression, but you're not really using the lower part of your abdominal area. And so everybody says, oh, I do core, I do core, I do a lot of crunches, I this, I that. Well, you're using the top half, but not the bottom <laughs> half. And so the body will forget yeah. to actually use it. Yeah. And so it'll kind of turn it off and it'll go into a different, the, the brain will go to a different place, let's say, because it's, it's going where the attention is. So for me, the most fun thing to do is remind people like, A, you get to turn on your lower abs. B, if you're sitting on your butt, it's not working because you're yeah. inhibiting it. You're literally compressing the blood out of it and you're inhibiting the blood flow and you're inhibiting the contractile property. And what you're doing is you're also putting it into the front of your leg. So as you stand up, your whole pelvis moves forward and you compress your back. Yeah. So for them to be able to understand like, oh my gosh, my glutes not working and it's in the front of my leg. That's how you change things because you have to know what's happening for you to actually be able to change the body. Yeah, and, and so, what comes what comes in is like when you do that, when you activate things in the body and the body works really well, you know, you're also able to lose weight. Oh. How many people are out there? They say, you know what, I'm eating less and I'm yeah. dieting and I'm moving and I'm relaxing, yet I still have that extra weight. I can't get rid of it. Well, if your system, if your vessel is not activated, yeah. it's kind of stagnant and I mean, we can take this all the way into the energetical, you know, it's yeah. like when, when you're, when you have blockages, nothing works and it's really hard to feel good and be happy and be inspired for instance. Totally. And in the body, it works like that too. So it's, it really, that is what's coming in. It's just like, you know, it's like, you want to get it all fluid. You want to get it all working. You want to mm -hmm. get it all going really smoothly. Right. And, you may actually be probably surprised in how many of your issues are just going to tumble away. Absolutely. Because and your body works. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. And to, to play off that point, chronic pain, we have a nervous system. It's called our parasympathetic and our sympathetic yeah. nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is that fight or flight, right? That's like when we're chasing tigers or dinosaurs or whatever, the cavemen <laughs> are chasing us or whatever. And then the parasympathetic is when you're calm and everything is good. And that's actually where recovery comes in. Well, if you are in chronic pain and you are constantly in that like uh, feeling all the time, your sympathetic nervous system is upregulated to the top. 
And with that are all your hormones. And there's a stress hormone called cortisol. Yes. And cortisol gets upregulated in a big way and it starts to release. And that's that's a big weight gain. You cannot lose weight when your cortisol, le cortisol levels are high. Yeah. Because your adrenals drop and then your cortisol goes whoop, through the roof. And you can try and try and try as you might and you can get so frustrated, but it's only until we can actually drop that, that sympathetic nervous system down upregulate the parasympathetic get that vagus the vagal nerve to kind of work to like calm everything down and then recovery comes and yeah. then you'll watch as people's lives like you said will start to just kind of fall back into place because there's nothing more fun than seeing a pain face come in and seeing a happy face leave <laughs> Because the pain face, you can see pain on people's faces. Oh, yeah. You can see it. It's just so sad. And then to be able to see their whole brightness change because they're like, oh my gosh, this doesn't work anymore. And then they yeah. come in the next time and it's a whole different human because yeah. we give them, we don't give them their life back. They take their life back. So it's all up to you whether you want to do it or not. It's really out there. The key for most people is just the knowledge that it is there and it's within them. And you, you, can, you can do this all yourself. I promise you. It's really actually, you just get to go down the rabbit hole of the non, you know, it's not, it's not the sexiest thing. Just trying to pull your belly button in toward your spine and just isolate that. It's, yeah. it's not exciting to do, but it is exciting because when you can change how your body moves and you can actually feel parts of you moving, man, it's a whole different story. And it, and you can watch the change in people happen while they're laying on the table. And that is exciting to me. Oh, it's absolutely, and it's an activation on every level, really, because it will improve your life. You you can mm -hmm. live and feel more vivid. Yeah, talk about feelings. How many people walk around and they don't even feel? They're all yeah. turned off, you know? And sure, that's partially because, you know, that's how they grew up and the trauma and everything. But we can, you know, we can say it's this, 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 this. Or we can say, you know what? I'm not activated. I'm going to take charge. Yep. I'm going to activate myself on every level, which is... Yeah physical which is energetic which is in joy and happiness you know and um that is to me it's a big thing that whole activation you know there's mm -hmm. just a higher level of of being able to live your life yeah. is there right there and it's not hard to do it's not far to grasp it's not it's not far away it's actually right there and it mm -hmm. really starts with knowing about your body and feeling yeah. your body and knowing about your feelings and what you're dealing with knowing energetically that there's yeah. an energetic world out there knowing that you're supposed to be happy and feel yeah. good you know sure sometimes you don't and that's okay as well because you know <laughs> that's called the contrast of life and that's yeah. why we're here however that's not supposed to be the constant constant way of living in pain and in fear and in just not feeling really well yeah. no you are you're given one body and you get the opportunity to do the best that you can and i feel like unfortunately that's where a lot of people have um they're they're not falling short but they they have people who just haven't worked for them because people are literally searching to be pain-free they're searching it everywhere oh, yeah. and it's really like I know you guys are frustrated, but it really comes from inside. Stop searching for a fix on the outside. No pill is going to make you feel better. All it's going to do is deaden all of those nerves that, that you have in there and all of the feelings. You Agreed. can't put a Band-Aid on it, but you can certainly fix yourself. You can fix you. No one can fix you but you. But boy, it's a total change of being when your vibration is higher because mm -hmm. now all of a sudden, all the stuff that you thought you couldn't do, the biggest excuse we get is, oh, I'm just, I guess I'm just getting older. That's not yeah, true. That's There's, not that true. Is, I hate that excuse because yeah, yeah, you are getting older. So am I. It just means we have more years on the planet doing the same stupid stuff that we've been doing and overusing the same body parts. So yeah, yeah we are, we, it, that is an excuse, but it's not your excuse because you can actually get stronger and more efficient as you get older. Oh, you absolutely. absolutely can. The age is really just you have more experience in life, yes. you know, you have more experience. And with that experience, you should be able to expand more and calibrate more and whatnot and just look at different ways. And I think COVID really brought that out, that invitation, you know, we can say, oh, COVID, you know, it's a heart thing and whatnot and all these changes and I don't like it. Or we can yeah. say, you know what, COVID, sure. Okay. An invitation for new 
Yeah. And in my eyes, I mean, what you're doing shouldn't be new. It should be always there. Children should know about this. However, it's since we're in a world that is not putting attention to what you do and what I do, right, which right. is on the holistic side, I call it new. But I feel like COVID really is bringing out that invitation to yeah. say, hey, there has to be a new way. There has to be a better way. I want to be happy. I want to feel better. And do you think COVID changed how people have pain because, you know, their oh, yeah. work a lot of times they work from home and they're barely moving. Yeah. Yeah. We actually have a lot of um, clients that are, they work from home. I mean, majority of people are remote, right? So we have a ton of remote workers. When COVID hit, we, we closed for a couple of months, but we, we stayed open because we're a clinic, right? So we would get people all the time who were working from home, but now they're working from their bar stool. They're working from their yeah. couch. They're working from, I was teaching at that time and I had to teach online classes and I had taught from my couch and I never have been in more pain in my hips than my, in my life. Yeah. Because, because you're, you're working for all these hours, but you're doing it in a space where you're not, it's just not correct for you. And you get caught in that space of just being online all the time. I think also this world of uh, COVID um, kind of put us into this world of like TikTok and social media and everything where people are trying to escape and they're getting caught into their computers a lot and they're yeah. sitting for hours and hours and hours doing things. So we saw a lot of people in that remote world. In fact, we were just like, why don't we create and like a not even an ergonomics thing but an ergonomics in a class for people at home so they can understand how to actually work their body yeah while they're at home so that they don't destroy themselves because it's it's really important that you understand how your body works and it, it's not as hard as you think but you have to be willing to get a little bit more systematic. And I think we've gotten into that world of the cerebral of just tell me what to do and I'm gonna do it. And it's like, no, I want you to feel what you wanna do. Cause you gotta put the feeling back in. I think the feeling kind of moved away and now COVID has allowed everybody to kind of, you're really feeling yourself on this because you've had to spend a lot more time, you know, with yourself, dealing with yourself, dealing with other, how parts of you are working or not working. And I think it's been, I think it's been a, a an actual really great experience in a lot of ways because yeah. it's really brought people together with their their own sense of self and how their body actually can really work for them. Yeah. So yeah. in a lot of the things that we do, some of my, my some of the things that I really like doing is dropping in on people and really under, getting them to understand like just the tiniest little movements make a big difference. And you have to understand how things work to understand how they don't work because we are where we don't work becomes our new normal. Yeah. And so we're really used to being in that space until you realize like, oh, wait, there was a place where I could be where this doesn't hurt. Yeah. And I think that's that's really, really exciting that there's a lot of those places out there right now where you can be you can be out of pain, like really, really out of pain and you can control your own destiny. Absolutely. And I think the highlighting what's coming in is, is to highlight that. So you're home a lot and then mm -hmm. you're not moving much. And then you look on the outer world and you get depressed. Well, that feeds each other. Sure. You know, it feeds each other. The not moving feeds your down emotions and yeah. that feeds your pain. Sure. And then, you know, the down emotions feet you're not moving and that feeds the pain so either way you have to break the cycle yep. and the with what you're doing is breaking the cycle with really getting you know in line and aligned with your physical body and also taking responsibility and saying mm -hmm. you know what it's up to me and i want to be educated yeah i need to know how i am and who i am in my physical body and to really highlight that it's a responsibility taking thing because we need to shift away from i'll just go out on friday night and then i'll be happy well that hap did not happen anymore with COVID. well i'll just take a pill and then i'll feel better right. well i'll just uh, watch an episode and then i get off my depression it doesn't work like that the invitation right. of being alive especially right now it's staring us into the face and saying, take responsibility, learn about your physical body, yeah. learn about energetics, learn about your emotions, 
get become a really good focuser on positivity too you know just yeah. this whole it's a wholesome way of being alive and it's all like you said inward has it nothing is. to do with outside outside mm -hmm. is do not look right now just go inward and shift there and everything is actually then shiftable and you can figure it out and you can also yep. fix it and change it right right oh 100 in fact i know for what we tell people and, and it's it's true like nothing in in as far as any discipline or any clinician nothing that anybody does for you is going to last longer than a few hours if you aren't involved and yeah. so you have to have a personal involvement in your own life. It's exactly. your life. You're in your body for 24 hours a day. At best, we're there for an hour. Yeah. And so all I can do is work with you while you're in there. But everybody who works with me has to make a commitment that they're going to, I'm only going to meet you where you're willing to go. Yeah. And I can't do it for you because if you are willing to really be accountable to your body and really deciding that this is where you want to be, I'm in it all the way for you. And I will teach you everything that I know and everything that you will then know about your body because it excites me to do it. But I think people in general, we've caught in this place of wanting to take so many outside resources and then hope that hope for the best. Yeah. And this is all about living the best life that you have and being the best you that you can be in it. And I have found people that when they really take an active role in their life and in their health and in their happiness, their whole world changes. Oh yeah. And they're, and they're, they're doing things that they were like, you know, I, I went rock climbing today or I went bungee jumping today. I've never would have thought to do that before because yeah. I was so scared of hurting myself or this or that. But now look at me. Cause I figured, yeah. Oh, I could just, I can, I know what to do. And Absolutely. it's like, this is so exciting. And it's like, I can't tell you how excited I am when I hear people that are like, you know, my back doesn't hurt anymore. I went and did this whole workout. I trained with this person and it, and, and I didn't hurt. I did a bike ride for the first time. I didn't hurt. You know, yeah. I got to go back to work. I worked all day. I feel great. I came back and I, I was like, I didn't even think about it for the first time. It's like, they, there's a saying that Pain is meant to be your teacher, not your companion. I agree you need with to that. learn the lesson and then move on. And I think yeah. too many people have pain as their companion. It's like sitting right here, just yeah. hanging out on their shoulder, like literally dictating their life. And your life, you have, it's life is too short to be dictated by pain. Like yeah. you, you get to control all the outcomes. Even and the it's like the language of your body. Mm -hmm. Like I always tell my clients, it's the language of your body. Your body is speaking to you. It's yeah. not, you don't have to hate it. You don't have to say, I want it to be gone. No, you got to dive deep into it and figure out what it's trying to tell you. Sure. And once you do that, you're actually going to fall in love with the language of your body because you say, yeah. oh, that hurts. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. What's it telling me? Oh, and then you expand and you become richer in life and everything just because you're actually becoming a partner to your body right it's, it's a teamwork it's really yeah yeah that's it's like i can't tell you i've been hurt i've hurt myself all different ways <laughs> in, in all different ways but it's been a blessing because each time i hurt a i remember what it feels like to be hurt so i get to connect with my clients again but b i get to i, I half of this stuff that i've learned came from me being hurt and not having anybody else to lean on to help me. And I had to do it from an internal place. And it was the best experience I've ever had. I yeah. mean, bar none, I couldn't tell you how it feels to not be able to go through that again. And it, it's made me a better teacher uh, because I was able to really understand it and then really put it out to everybody, you know? And I yeah. think you have to, you can't be afraid of your pain. Pain is no. not, it's it, pain is not so you have these things called nociceptors in your body and they're actually pain receptors they're actually not they're trauma receptors and i think we're more afraid of the trauma than yeah. of the pain because the body will heal itself but the trauma is that's where the psychology lies right yeah. that's where all your emotional component of like <gasps> i don't want to go back through that again i'm so afraid of getting that again that they they'll change how they do things they'll change how they move people will They'll change everything they do because of the fear of going back to that trauma. Yeah. And when they realize that the trauma is actually not there, the body will, body heals itself. 
It really does. It's pretty... The body's already moved on. <laughs> they, they, I mean, the psychology of injury yes. is way worse than the injury itself. Oh, yeah. You know, Absolutely. it's how you address it. And that's when they started to discover this new pain theory. They were like, oh, wait a minute, we can really battle chronic pain now because we were battling it as like, you're just crazy. Yeah. You're just no, crazy. And it's like, no, you're not crazy. You, It's in there. Your body no. has changed because you've adapted to change because you're so afraid of hurting the shoulder that you're pulling it like this because you're so afraid of using it that you end up messing up every other part of you. And then you're like, my back is killing me. Yeah. But it was coming from here. So, yeah. you know, there's something I say over here that if your body is, your body is like a crime scene, the victim screams, but the <laughs> criminals stay silent. Yeah. So you have to think of all the criminals and the criminals are other body parts, their joints, their nerves, their tissue, but there's also the mental component, Absolutely. the emotional component, the spiritual component, the somatic component. There's yeah. so many other things that run into to play on how we keep ourselves in pain. And if you truly want to be happy and change your outlook on things, you have to realize that Pain is not there to to be uh your your a torturer. Yeah. It's really not. It's there to no. give you a to give you like a hey, time to change this. Hey, this isn't working. That's all it's, it's a telling. great it's just... lexicon or a book or something that if For you sure. pick it up, you're gonna figure it out. So so I mean it just highlights really that every human being, I mean plants and animals too, but we're talking about people right now everyone is a wholesome being yeah. that's really in, important and we're inviting everyone to become interested in who you really are yes. not but on every single level as a whole being you know yes. and just start digging into it and say ha huh, i wonder how my body works ha huh, i wonder what my pain is telling me hmm, yeah. what could i change oh yeah. energetic what what's that food oh what's that and just kind of like and it may it will make you happy because you yeah. will figure out that you're actually quite an interesting person yeah and that yeah. there are solutions out there so speaking of solutions so how well how can you help and how will you help and how are you already helping the corporate world what's your invitation um to you know since the podcast is the corporate happiness show yeah corporations and their people what do you think people need how can you help them and what do you want to tell corporations to bring you in and do what how can you help right so so for corporations the biggest thing for them is you guys i mean corporations you want your your employees to actually work right you want to have uh your employees be happy because that is really really important right now if people yeah. are not happy in their bodies their, their whole work uh, ethic and their work progress and everything else goes out the window. What we do is we come into different businesses. So we've been invited even into like yoga classes when we're teaching, having a yoga instructor come in and teach, coming into different uh, corporations and either doing like a home ergonomic if they're all remote and we can do a class from, from everybody's home or going into businesses and really teaching the ABCs of posture core structure and how to really get out of pain on all levels it's not that hard it doesn't take that long and as long as people are really have a a true buy-in to getting out of pain we're right there for you so we come in and we do all of the work on making sure that not only ergonomically i have an ergonomic person that's in here that we can that's certified that we go in and make sure everything is working but now let's work from the inside out so we really want your employees to be the best that they can be and to feel the best that they can be. So what we're going to do is we go in and we can teach them about their bodies, about their, how their body moves, about how to activate what's not working, about how to drop, uh, drop down what is overworking, about how to drop down their sympathetic nervous system and so that we can actually get some product, productivity out of people like mentally and emotionally yeah. and how to feel better. That's that's really what we offer. We can do it both in a online uh, forum and or because it's really posture and structure and or we can come into the business and do it. But what wow. that does is it, it leaves your employees feeling like you pay attention to them. 
like you care about them because I know you do and it makes them feel better overall. So now you're going to get better productivity out of every single employee that you have because it feels better for them to stay at work all day and, and or work for you. I mean, what a great, what a great like workshop or seminar or mm -hmm. however you call it course, because I think it's so holistic yeah. and it's so kind and open hearted what you do and it will help the people so much to get out of that misery you know <laughs> and unhappiness and pain and all that that i believe truly that with your work in any business it makes the people working there feel valued it makes the people feel like oh that company is actually really caring about me yeah. you know where they're not just bringing in free pizza they're actually caring about how i feel right and they actually care about that i may be actually in pain yeah. plus then these employees or people or leaders they take this knowledge home and they can share that knowledge with their children with yes. their wife so it pays you know and once you know i tell you what if you have a person working at the company and their family is healthy that means they don't have well they they, they don't they are not down they're right. happy because their family is thriving and they don't yep. have to take time off because at home they're not yep. feeling well so i mean it, it just pays forward right oh 100 you become a ripple in the pond right and so yes. it's like you're able to you're just being better and just feeling better has a ripple effect on every single person around you yeah. you know everybody nobody wants to see you in pain and nobody wants to hang out with people who are constantly in pain and every time they talk about them they're like oh i don't feel good yeah. so when yeah. you do that it's this ripple effect of good and not yeah. only are the my biggest the uh, one of the fun most fun things is i've worked with people who are like yeah i went to i have a guy who is a, a, a jiu-jitsu athlete and he was going to a competition in vegas and there happened to be like a bodybuilding and figure competition going on at the same time and he says he comes back and he goes i'm so mad at you and i said what did i do <laughs> and he goes he's all i go to this jujitsu to just jiu jujitsu competition he goes there's all these girls in bikinis and all I'm looking at is their posture going like, oh my God, they really need to see Julie and I could help you. And man, your shoulders are rolled forward. And he's like, you have totally ruined this whole experience for me because yeah, all that's I think funny. about is helping them feel better. Yeah. And so, I mean, word of mouth is a, a like the number one referral source in the world. Like if you can get in word of mouth, that's fantastic. That's what basically what we do because as soon as somebody comes in and they start to feel better, then it's like the husbands send their wives in and then their wives feel better, then the husbands come in, then the husband's yeah. uh, sister comes in, and then the kid comes in, and then we end up with the whole full family. And so yeah. it's this great effect of like, everybody is not only helping each other, but we work with people where we're just like, hey, listen, husband and wife or, or office, you guys get to be accountability partners to each other. So mm -hmm. I want to make sure that you all understand what to do, and then you can help each other out. Yeah. So now it's not just us doing it, but it's you being accountable for each other because really that's what we're all about is the people on the world. We really want to help each other out and we should be, yeah. we should be there for one another. And so it really, it really helps to bring people together in a good way. Cause yeah, and it's on a holistic it. way. It's on mm -hmm. a holistic way. And you know, holistic is really, really important because it kind of highlights that we're whole beings yeah. and their natural ways. And if we just educate ourselves and if we take charge and responsibility, that goes a long way. So yeah. very much so. So we are actually at the end of our show. I could just keep talking and talking because we have so much good to yeah. cover and the pain and everything. And I think we should probably consider to do an other episode and maybe love it speak then a little bit more about how the body works and whatnot so oh, where can it. people find you so you can find us you can go on our website we have our website is uh, www.protocol sports systems p-r-o-t-o-c-o-l sports systems it's all one word okay. um and you can always find us on instagram you can find us on youtube we have a youtube channel we have linkedin we have you know all the different social media aspects at protocol sports systems we are in the midst of, like I said, getting ready to do an online course. So you'll be finding us there. And then 
in November, we're going to be launching our own podcast. So that I'm really, really That's excited exciting. about because then I get to talk to people like you and all this other stuff where we can come through and really see my goal in the world is to make sure all disciplines work together synergistically to give you the best experience possible. And so I always want to take the um, questionable and the mystery out of any kind of pain or movement and that that's exciting to me. And so I want to be able to do that on a podcast with all these different amazing specialties so that you really understand what's going on. Um, because so it's a be wholesome that. thing. You can't it, just do one thing and think you're done. You know, no, that's not how things work. Is like, well, and, you know. Yeah, and I think healthcare leaves it up to you to do all the work. And it's like, but if you don't know, how are you going to go after it? Like, yeah. you don't know what you don't know. And yet you're supposed to do all the groundwork for like, what is PRP? What is prolotherapy? What is stem cell? What is growth hormone? What is, what are, what, what is getting blood hormone? What's the difference between a comprehensive hormone panel and what your doctor does? What is what your body, you know, there's so much in yeah, there that it's has so fascinated awesome. me that I am like, people don't have to do all the groundwork. Let's, let's have this great opportunity to have a big Rolodex for everybody to learn off of. Yeah, so I, like I would that. love to do I something like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah that's absolutely. Where we're because at. that's the thing is like that's what we're invited to do. Work all together. Realize it's a wholesome, it's a wholesome way. You know that yeah. we're here and everything, and to also understand. And I think that's a big one as an ending. It's like you're only scared because you don't know. There you go. You're only scared 100%. because you don't know. So if you take responsibility and you take it to heart and you say, hey, I'm going to I'm gonna really figure this out. I'm going to learn. You will find the people that can teach you and suddenly you're not scared of it anymore because you know. Or you may not know it all, but you know where to go, which is a holistic place like, you, like protocol in yeah. San Diego. So I love yeah. that. So. Well, Julie, thank you for being on the show. I mean, you know, it's like you're taking care of my son. So I love you guys anyway, but you took excellent care of me too when I was there and I thank you. And I just really admire your work because it really creates a better world. So thank Thank you for being on the show. Thank you so much. I had so much fun. Thank you very, very much for having me. Excellent. And to all the listeners, thanks for sticking with us. We went a little over today, but this conversation was just too good to not keep going. So thanks for listening. Thanks for spending your time with us and we'll talk next time. Thank you.